Like, what you thought her first harvest? I, I think I don't. I haven't actually seen it. Lame. <laughs> okay. Her first heart event was um, turning all the books upside down yeah, in the bookshelf. So Taro, uh, yeah. Oh, um, and... Yeah. Yeah, she is very mischievous. I messed up. I fainted. Okay. Yeah, and then... <coughs> yeah, she is a mischievous girl. Yeah. Jeez. But she's so awesome. Like, plants a girl, you think all the girls are just awesome. <laughs> Playing as a guy, you think all the girls are awesome too. Because, you know, you're a guy. And that's the way guys think. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave now. Oh, uh, 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 why? <coughs> um, what? What are you doing? <laughs> what? You're just, okay, I'm a girl, and then you're just saying that, and I'm just like. Uh, you know I'm joking anyway, so. <clears throat> okay, okay, good. I can't take jokes. <laughs> I'm not very good at telling jokes either, so that's yeah. Okay. Uh, how about Lana? She's the pop star. She's also blonde, and she sings actually. Yay! <laughs> um, and she likes fishing, and she is would marry Denny if you didn't mar if you don't marry her and stuff. And they both like fishing. So, any thoughts on Lana? Fishing is boring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You'd be like, what is she like? I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I can say about I'm, her. I'm, 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 um, yeah. <laughs> Man, I need like another co-commentator. Please, someone, can you get me another co-commentator to actually play this game? Like, uh, but, but, but I do. I just don't play it that way. I, I, I collect okay, so you things. you just go after one girl and you're... Yeah, I'm what? just like, what? okay, this is this is what I'm doing, and I'm not going to go after all that side stuff. So I'm not a 100% completionist, you know? Oh, okay, so you're not going to see all the hard events, you're just going to go after one girl, and then you're fine. Yeah. Which is and fine. It's try nice, and raise cool. all the islands as well. And then after mm -hmm. I do that, I'm pretty much done with the game, so. And you're not going to get married and everything? Oh, marriage is part of the whole... Thing with Natalie. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that goes without saying, you know. <laughs> oh, so you're gonna go after Natalie? Okay. Yeah. Have you even like know the other girls first before you decide on who to marry? Yeah, I did a little bit of research, but uh, not that much. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, that one. <laughs> That's it, man. What do guys like? Jesus, like, do they just I like? Don't... Oh, I'll just take this one. <laughs> Not at all. God no. I guess girls are more picky because it makes sense because they're supposed to be the one bearing the child and everything, and they need a good yeah. husband. That's what I learned in psychology. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm probably not the best person to be on here if you know psychology and stuff. I think I better leave. Okay. No, 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 it's okay, we're not talking about, this is Harvest Moon, not psychology, this is like, this like, this game is like, almost no, like, what's it called, uh, doesn't make sense and stuff. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I know a lot of people who are 100% completionists, and I'm just not that way. I just play a game till I get bored of it, you know? That's pretty much it. Or, or I get one specific goal in mind, like, uh, I'm going to see it to the ending, or but I'm not going to collect everything in it. You know, that kind of thing. Oh, that makes sense. It's so, hard to get 100% you know, in Harvest Moon. Especially when I have so many games. So. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, if I'm 100% cool for all games, I don't know if I have time for other things. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I've got a full bloody bookshelf full of games. So, yeah, I'm not going to get 100% in every game that I own, so... That's mm. that. <laughs> which, is like like game, like <laughs> which is why I kind of like... Which is why I kind of like point and adventure games more than anything, you know? Because to get 100% you just have to finish the game. There isn't really anything after that. Well, that's true. It's turning. Well... But I yeah. just love the storyline. 
That's why I love it. Well, it's it's good too, but yeah. And then, really, there's no point in replaying it, but I do it. Sure, it's like reading a book again. Exactly. Isn't it? And yeah. do you do things differently in the next time you play? Because there, it's not like straight up a uh, one one path. There's actually different paths you could take. You could. In some cases, in some cases. Yeah, in some cases. But not in all of them, unfortunately. So. If it was, then it'll be hard for the people to make the game. Yeah. I'm still waiting for the fifth game, like so badly. Oh yeah. Whatever. Oh I'll god. Just... But Ghost Trick is coming out first, so we have to wait yeah. for that. To... I'm getting that. I don't want to play it. It looks interesting. <laughs> it does look interesting, but I don't think the story is going to be that good. It doesn't look like it would be anyway. Uh, I, I don't know. That's just my opinion. <laughs> okay, how about I'm definitely Sabrina? going to play it anyway, but... Hmm? What about what? Sabrina? Uh, Sabrina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's... Got glasses and stuff. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> she's a typical um in Harvest Student, She's a typical shy book girl, a uh, girl that likes books and is shy and is stuff like that. Yeah. But in Room Factory Frontier, there's a character who totally overturns that thing, overturns it. Where she yeah. is like so lively and like crazy about books and like doesn't eat or sleep because of it and <laughs> she loves books and she's like so awesome. I I might I might even give up this game altogether because Rune Factory Frontier is No 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 say that it's all <laughs> different. The game is all different. Rune Factory Frontier is different than Harvest Moon, like really different. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well it's very, nice. very similar. It's just got some extra stuff in there too, and you can only play as one character. Yeah, just playing as a guy is just bad, especially if you're like falling in love with the main character yourself. You're like, I can't let him marry. <laughs> what the heck? That's how I sure. feel. That's that's just they think that role-playing games are guy things. I suppose I don't know. And fighting in dungeons, the guy thing. Y yeah, I I I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me at all that there there would only be a, a guy in there. But uh, that's just the way it is. I don't know. Yeah, I like Regina. So what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like He's it's so hard to take <laughs> No, I'm not having him married. Why would I? No, I already decided who to marry in Factory and Room Factory Frontier. Yeah. D don't tell me. I'll I'll make my own decision. <laughs> I'm actually talking to more people in that game than I talked to in uh, Sunshine Islands, which isn't really, you know, saying a lot considering I've only played the game one day. But that really goes to show how little I've talked to people in Harvest Moon. You know? But yeah, when you talk to people in Fact Frontier, they say different things depending on, um, say different things all the time, so it's a lot more interesting to talk to them in that game. And they yeah. also voice act, have voice action, voice yeah. acting, and sometimes it gets annoying, but I just love how they speak. Yeah. Man, yeah. it's weird. Um... One thing about um, uh, Sunshine Islands, it's that, w you know, whenever you talk to the person at, this, at one time of day, they say the oh. same thing. At another time of day, they always say the same thing uh, on each of the seasons. And it's just really repetitive to do that over and over again. So I just get a text. I don't know what they're saying. Unless they say something different, I'm like, ooh. Because they change their dialogue depending on how much FP they have with you. Yeah, and yeah. the season, and the time of day, and stuff, and they greet you and everything. I like that. It's a lot more interesting. If you greet them early in the morning, do they get? Do do you? Do they lower their FP? You know? No. Do they or? 
No. No, no it's just that Natalie like always seemed to get annoyed with me every time that I talked to <laughs> her early in the morning. So I was just I like, faded. am I doing this right? No, it doesn't matter. She's just annoyed. Like, when I, every time I talk to Elliot in the morning and it's not an island happiness, he's like, morning, oh, I'm sorry, I'm still kind of sleepy, or whatever he says. And I, I know how he feels, because I'm not a morning person. Yeah. I don't think I know anyone who is a morning person. I can't I imagine being... Apparently I have... 